Katie, the family is relieved. They say they're happy to have him back, even if it's not how they imagined. They did not speak to us on camera, asking for some time to grieve after a tumultuous search for Andres Frias. 150 workers, 11 days of searching, and only four hours after draining the canal, rescue crews recovered 18-year-old Andres Frias's body. Last night, beginning at about 11.30, we were able to uh, pump out the water and send an entry team in, and uh, we did discover the body at about 2 o'clock this morning. Starting Saturday night, crews placed berms along the canal where family members last saw the teen alive over a week ago. This was a, a unique situation where um, it, it's a pipe that's three stories deep that we had to make entry into. After draining the 2,000 foot long pipe, eight firefighters from McAllen and Farr plunged three stories down to recover the body. Not an easy task. It wasn't at all safe um, with the water flowing, but uh, cutting off the water isn't as simple as it sounds. It does affect other cities. Um, it's, a, it's a very technical um, and difficult process to berm uh, both sides of this half mile long pipe. Rescue crews turned over Frias's remains to the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office, a standard procedure. They will then hand him over to his loved ones. Our condolences go out to the family and uh, we are relieved that we were able to offer some closure. Though they opted not to speak on camera, the family says they are very thankful for all of the support the community has shown. Reporting in our Hidalgo County Newsroom, Rafael Carranza, Action 4 News.